Once you've spent time creating all this data, all these memories, your stacks and sequences, you're going to want to protect that data. Now the Smart Fade does have persistent memory, so if you turn the unit off, turn it back on again, your show will still be there. Even if you remove power for uh, many days, up to several months, the Smart Fade will retain the show that was last there in memory. But it's a lot better idea to save that show to SD card. And the SD card uh, will go in this slot here on the front of the Smart Fade. It is a standard SD card that you might use in a cellular phone or a digital camera. In the menu, you will find a menu setting for settings. When I enter settings, memory card is the first thing that I come to. And when I enter the memory card menu, I have the option to save a show or load a show. Pretty basic functions. When I save a show, it gives me the name show01.asc. The .asc indicates that we are saving SmartFade shows in a standard uh, USITT ASCII format. And I can change the name from show01 to a different number, show03, for instance, by using the encoder wheel. Once I hit enter, I'll get a confirm message, hit enter again, and now I have saved that show file to the SD card. I can remove the SD card and transport that show to my PC or Macintosh to use uh, virtual smart fade perhaps to edit that show or from one smart fade to another or simply keep a backlog of shows on my card that I'll be using at different times. Now that's the basics of saving a show to your SD card. We always recommend that you do that to protect your data. Now, of course, you'll load shows in the same manner. Just access load under the same menu with an SD card in. The SmartFabe will look at that SD card and show you any shows that have a .asc uh, extension after them. You can select or dial through the shows that you want to load and load up the one that you're looking for. While you're using virtual SmartFade, you'll notice that there's a file menu in the upper left-hand corner, and under that file menu you'll find file functions, new, open, save, and exit. You should always use the file functions from this menu while you're using virtual SmartFade. From this file menu, using open, you'll get a regular dialog box that allows you to open files that have the .asc extension. You can also save files and give them any name you like in the virtual SmartFade software. Well, that's the basics of how to work with an SD card, saving and loading shows, and how to save and load shows in the virtual SmartFade.